हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज शिवानी हेयर वेलकम टू माई चैनल शिवानी क्रिएशंस टूडे आई एम शोइंग यू हाउ टू मेक दिस गॉर्जियस एंड वेरी ब्यूटिफुल डॉट मंडाला वॉल मिरर एंड कैन यू सी दिस द कॉम्बिनेशन द डिज़ाइन द पैटर्न ओवरऑल दिस इज लुकिंग वेरी वेरी अट्रैक्टिव सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो हियर आई एम टेकिंग दिस एम डी एफ बेस विच इज हैविंग सिक्स एम एम थिकनेस एंड दिस इज 14 inches in diameter so first of all i am going to color this whole base using black chalk paint i would prefer to use chalk paints only no acrylic colors because chalk paints give very nice matte finish look it will not make any sticky base after doing all the mandala work so the coloring is done i have colored from both the sides and it's completely dry now now it's time to make the divisions before starting with mandala so here i have prepared one white color sheet circle which is having same size and i have folded in one fourth part like this just align it with one corner of the circle like this and i'm just marking the center of the circle in the corner so in this way you can create the center for the circle easily and now i am just randomly making some circles using my rounder and white color pencil first i have created the circle inside which my mirror is fitting perfectly and also having little gap and then uh, randomly i am making some more circles there is no measurement you can uh, make the circles according to your choice because in any size or shape you can fit any design so this is a tutorial of basic mandala pattern and now to divide this in four equal parts again i am taking my stencil this is the center part on back side of this we have the hook so i have just marked exactly in the center now i'm just making one line by joining the center point straight line and then uh, taking my template and creating the horizontal line so plus shape is done that is we have divided in four equal parts now on each part i am again dividing in uh, two parts that is uh, i am making total eight parts again just joining these cross and the eight parts are done now i am putting my circle exactly in the center of the base and creating one more circle around this so that we will know from where we have to start now i am dividing each of this part again in four four parts so in total i am going to divide my base into 32 equal parts and after dividing it it will look like this now all the markings are done and it's time to start with our mandala work so i will show you how i make my color here i am taking archival multi surface paint by little buddy and taking my color palette pouring some of the color into this these paints are having very nice consistency if you find it little thick you can add little drop of water mixing white with this and creating a nice smooth paste in this way i will create all my shades so starting with my first pattern all the mandala tools the links are given in the description box if you want to purchase anything so for my first row i am starting with 
light lavender shade in the screen maybe it is looking white but actually it is very light shade of lavender so on each line on each division i am making the circles and after each dot you have to dip your tool into the color to get the perfect size of dots each time do it very carefully patiently and nicely to get the best results now between these two dots i am putting one one more dot of the same size now for the next row i am here taking teal color and using little big size of mandala tool and putting dots on each line so that we will get total 32 dots now on top of this i am adding darker shade of lavender and using small tool and making one more dot then using the mini ball tool i am making the pattern on both the sides of this teal color circle so just dip your tool into color for one time make a spot and just drag the remaining color to create dots and it will automatically get the smaller size each time like this so just complete this row now between these light lavender dots i am putting teal color dots using very small size of my ball tool then between these teal dots again i am putting white color dots so according to the size and uh, space you have to choose your mandala tool and then start putting dots and always take little contrast color which is not very near to the nearby colors and uh, it will enhance the beauty now i will show you how to create these beautiful loops so first you have to put little color dot on top and then just drag it using any pointed needle i have this pointed needle tool so i'm just dragging the color and creating beautiful drop shapes or petals similarly i'm filling these gaps using white chalk paint so this is done now i'm putting magenta color dots below the teal dots and see here i'm using contrast color and it is enhancing the beauty more now inside each teal dot i am putting smaller shape dot and i have just mixed white color in this teal color to create the lighter shade now i am taking light 
magenta color i have mixed white with magenta to create this pinkish shade and putting on this circular line and between each dot i am putting one more circle then for the next row i am taking light lavender color and making big dots then around this first i am putting one teal dot using big tool then two small dot using smaller tool and again taking my ball tool to make more smaller dots Now for the next row I have just mixed little more white with previous blue color and making the same pattern Then again I am creating the loop petals here using white chalk paint. then on the edge of each petal i am putting light pink color dots after that using the same magenta pink color i am putting two more dots then for the next row i am taking dark lavender color between these dots i am putting one more dot then making one big dot using teal blue color and around this i am making magenta color dots then adding one more last row using light pink color dots
then putting light lavender dots between these dark lavender dots putting lighter shade of teal inside this big teal circles then making three more drop shape petals between these designs again putting pink color dot between this space adding white color dots on these lavender circles and the beautiful mandala pattern is done it's completely dried and it's looking very very attractive now to protect it from dust and to make it waterproof i am applying here varnish by little body just spread it nicely using flat brush and allow it to dry completely if you want you can also pour resin for nice glossy finish but i am not pouring resin right now i am keeping it as it is and you can wipe it easily with wet cloth any time and i have fixed here the 6 inches mirror using fevi gum and the beautiful dot mandala mirror is ready to decorate my wall so that's it for today hope you enjoyed my video please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos thanks for watching bye bye